I'm standing at the front entrance of Drummer Boy RV Camping Resort. It is a Thousand Trails Encore, and today I'm going to take you on a tour. Once you turn off onto Drummer Boy Resort, you are going to go up and around and you will see a Drummer Boy Camping Resort registration sign. It'll take you right to the registration office. It is clearly marked here for your office registration and store and you will find it on your left. This is your office and store. You just pull right in, follow the sign, stop here and get your registration. At the front of the general store, you can get ice and golf cart rentals. This is a sample of the golf carts that they have to rent. They do have a nice country store here with lots of things if you've forgotten anything. They do have an ATM here as well as plenty of firewood along with lots of cool t-shirts. Adjacent to the office in the same building is the laundry. So a nice place to come wash and dry your clothes. It is small. They have two on the campground, but they're very similar. A quick view of the washer and dryer room. The washers and dryers are both coin operated and um, clean mobile operated, so you can do either. Drummer Boys Little Library um, is located in both of the laundry facilities so if you want to bring a book and take a book or just borrow a book check out the laundry rooms here in front of the office you have the gathering place it is a cute place where you can have group campfires i was talking to um, the membership specialist and they said they have lots and lots of activities here for adults and children alike they do have a really cool game room here for the kids. So if they're not having an activity, they can come on in here to the game room. I love water features at the mini golf and they have a lovely one here. It's right behind the office and you can get your golf clubs there. This is where Fred and I like to come. They do have a hot tub here. The pool here is walk-in. Pretty nice pool. All right, get all fling wet. Look, the ground. No diving in here. I wonder why. But it's right here. No, no diving. Water, no diving. That's why they had to put the safety chains up. They're made of extra strong plastic. 102. Read them and weep. It's going to be a good week in the neighborhood. It's not bad. I can live with 102. It's better than our bathtub in the RV. Oh, we don't have a bathtub in the RV. This is definitely a nice hot tub. I'm going to give it a, a fling four star. Four out of what? Uh, four out of five star. Okay. Yeah. It's a new scale I just invented. <laughs> hey, it's 102. Let's enjoy this hot tub. And you can smell the uh, chlorine. Woo. Right across from the pool, once you cross the road, there is a playground for the children. This playground does close at dusk. They also have swings in the area, as well as a basketball court. This is Lincoln Hall. Lincoln Hall is the activity center here. However, the picnic tables in the field is where the DJ and most of the activities as well as any bands are unless it's raining. If it's raining then they will move the DJ bands and any dances to the activity center. Free play, game superhero tag with nerf targets. Ooh, at 4 p.m. they have karaoke. I know where Fred and I might come and join. And from what I hear and have seen, if you need tons of activities on site, this is the place to come. They have a whole area with little log cabins. Actually, they're quite big and spacious looking with grills in front of them and picnic tables. Um, that's called Lincoln's Way. We have a trail that leads to a pond. Check this pond out. Who doesn't like to stroll around the pond, especially close to evening? As the sun's going down or early in the morning as the sun is rising. You can actually rent a cabin that faces the pond as well. 
So there's no ice skating in the winter, no boating, and no swimming at this pond. All fishing is catch and release. And be careful, there are sharks sighted here. They do have a few pet stations along the road for your convenience. They do have five bathhouse and restrooms. My favorite are number two and number five because they have individual, individual rooms, restrooms with individual showers. Now one, three, and four are more traditional. So I found a better dump station. There are two in here. One is by the gathering place. But if you have a big rig coming out, it's probably your best bet. You can just pull off the road right over here. And there's a dump station. So if you like playing volleyball, they have a nice little place for you here. Get yourself a team going and come join us at the volleyball station. They do have Binky's Barbecue on site. So if you're hungry, make sure that you drop in they're usually open on the weekends we ordered loaded fries and a sandwich so it is cheat night for the edel campers tonight the loaded fries was really really good and, uh, the beef barbecue was uh, dry and it was tough it was kind of a, probably a fork and knife type of thing and uh, the pork barbecue was very tasty. It was a little dry, but that's what the sauce is for, I guess. So put some of that hot sauce on there, a spicy sauce. It's very delicious. They do have a sign, so you can figure out your site and follow this sign. We are located on Warren Street, on site 338 at Drummer Boy. You do not have to pick your site. They assign sites to you. We have a pretty nice, spacious spot. I can park Rocky either behind or in front of uh, Bullwinkle since there's so much room. So Fred's first thing he likes to do is hook up that air AC, right babe? So here is our electrical box. We're at site 338, 50, 30, and 20 amp. So we do have full hook up here. And he can turn on the air conditioner from the phone, right? Mm -hmm. Yay, so it doesn't have to go in to do that. Easy touch micro air. Going one. Going. Going two. Going. Very woodsy and pretty. Summer is here and berries are starting to ripen. Reminds me of a little miniature pool area from Beth Page. We went to Beth Page a few weeks ago. We will link that in the area above for you to see. They had amazing water park there. And here at Drummer Boy, we have a little miniature version. Who can resist going underneath the mushroom? Kinda hot today. On the weekends, you can get Italian ice at Little Johnny's right here at the water park. Definitely one of Fred's favorite places, someplace underneath the pavilion where you can stay cool and out of the sun's rays. It's pretty quiet here, but it's, uh, been pretty overcast. Uh, it's supposed to be super hot tomorrow and very warm this weekend, so I'm sure it will be packed then. I may have two of my little grandbabies coming over to enjoy this beautiful water slide and play pool. Check out this little duck. I know my grandson Neelan and my granddaughters Raina and Olivia are young enough to still appreciate this stuff. The cool thing about this water slide, it is nestled up between a group of trees so you climb up what looks like you're climbing into a tree house to slide your way all the way down to the bottom. I told you I'd show you a little surprise at the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed this tour and if you've been to Drummer Boy please let us know. If you haven't been and planning to go we'd also like to know that. What was your favorite part? of the tour of Drummer Boy. There they go, going up the slide together. Well, going up the steps together. Here comes Mommy.
do this right here, Ray. Watch. Okay. Okay. You gotta hit him with that. Now I'm gonna go on there again. Three, two, one. Now I'm gonna go over here. We are here today at the Eisenhower National Historic Site in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, getting ready to tour Eisenhower's farm, his house, his barns. It's absolutely gorgeous here, a beautiful day. Eisenhower's famous car collection. Let's see what Eisenhower had. This 1965 Buick Sport Wagon became one of Eisenhower's favorite transportation around the farm. 1955 Crown Imperial Limousine and Golf Carts. Let's check out those golf carts. There's yeah. Some golf carts. The limousine was um, Eisenhower's other decor among the White House fleet. Made many trips between the White House and the Eisenhower farm here in Pennsylvania. So the small building that's attached to the barn is where the Secret Service used to meet. 1965 Massey Ferguson tractor. Wow. This house is the only house that Dwight and Mamie Eisenhower ever owned. Um, Mamie wrote that they moved 40 times in 40 years, so the fact that they owned it is extremely significant. If you miss an episode of As the World Turns, you ask Secret Service to watch it and summarize it for her. <laughs> <laughs> Once a woman reached the age of 50, she was entitled to stay in bed until noon. All right. Pretty cool woman. Can't even imagine keeping a linen closet that neat. Down to the kitchen area. There's eggs. Pop one washer, one dryer. Ironing board and a sewing machine, right? This thing has a lot of bedrooms. That's what I need an old phone. This is where Eisenhower brought world leaders to the farm. We're going to walk the same footsteps as President, Prime Ministers, and Kings. So there is a parking lot here. So I'm not really sure if you have to pay for the tour or if you can still come here. This kind of looks like the free entrance. Hmm. I almost think you could probably find your way here and not go in the house and walk around for free. It's absolutely beautiful. We are checking out Eisenhower's show barn. Now this is a farm, cool silo. Eisenhower says, I shall leave the place better than I found it. These are his fields. Okay, I found my track. I'll take this one. There's enough outbuildings here, right? 1965, that was the last full season that Eisenhower uh, raised cattle. And he, I mean, he didn't go to the shows, but his, um, you know, his herdsmen, his herdsmen did. But when he was president, um, they didn't, they had a placard with their name on it. But when he was president, he didn't want to be known as the Eisenhower Farm because he didn't want to give it unfair advantage. Yeah. So it was known as the, I believe it was the, uh, um, the Allen Briers Farm because George Allen was a local friend of uh, Eisenhower, who lived, you know, who lived in the town, and he, he. he uh, Alton Jones, the CEO of Sitco, who owned this property right here, um, 
Eisenhower and uh, Bill Breyers were all in a partnership for the show cow business when he was president. Of course you need your own gas pump at the farm for your farm equipment. Okay, 24 cents per gallon at the time this puppy was here. Can't even imagine paying 24 cents. Can we fill up our John Deere? One when it's a John Deere. And all the pieces. Mm. Those cows had a good stable. Nice amount of room. He raised black averaging Angus show cows. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you saw the pictures, but they were kind of short and like wider. Yeah, I saw it. So. The, you know, Angus that we have today. Okay, hi. Um, so I'm, I am in Gettysburg, and you probably see behind me there is a big tower. All right, it's time for the Drummer Boy Camping Resort Cellular Service Report. Well, AT and T takes the lead this time with 58.4 megabits per second down very nice and 25 up pretty nice also second is Verizon at 44.5 MIPS down and 19.6 going up T-Mobile 43.8 down and 4.99 going up I don't think you can do bad with any of these services in this location of course there is a big cell tower right at the front of the park. So, have a good day. We'll see you next time.